everyone we are going to look at a topic called assignment assignment is a special form of transport the last time we we're looking at transport and we look at two methods of calculating transport cost so today we want to look at uh, uh, assignment which is a special uh, form of transport now you can be given an example like this this example we have four jobs these four jobs are assigned four machines so we have job a job b job c and job d these jobs are assigned four machines machine one machine two machine three and machine four now we are going to you are being asked to find out the allocation of time this these numbers are time. These ones are time. So we are going to ask to find, find out the allocation of time to four machines which minimize total running time. So if you have machine uh, job A, in machine A it can run 10 minutes. In machine 2 it can run 28 minutes. In machine 3, it can run 20 minutes. In machine 4, 13 minutes. If you come to B, it can run in 16, 30, 7, and 28 minutes. The same to C and D. Now we are going, we are being asked, <coughs> because these ones are normal time, now we are being asked to uh, calculate or find out minimize, minimize, minimum time. Because these are ordinary time. So we want to minimize, uh, minimize time. Now, if you are, you are, we, are, we are going to do it in steps. And step number one, step number one, you are going to draw this. <coughs> so we have machine one, machine two, machine three, machine four, job A, job B, job C and job D. Now, the step one, we are going to deal with rows. Rows. We have this one, rows, and we have columns. Columns are these ones. Now, we start with rows. Rows, because we are going to minimize minutes, we are going to look at the, the smallest number in that row. So if you start with row one, we have 10, we have 20, we have, we have 28, we have 20, we have 13. The smallest number is 10. Now, we are going to, uh, to subtract 10 from all those numbers. Now, 10 minus 10, we are going to get 0. 28 minus 10, we are going to get 18. 20 minus 10, we are going to get 10. 13 minus 10, we are going to get 3. Then we come to B. The minimum time here is 7. So we are going to subtract 7 from all the numbers. So 16 minus 7 is, uh, let me use a calculator. 16 minus 7, we are going to get 9. 30 minus 7, we are going to get 23. 7 minus 7, 0. 28 minus 7, 21. We have finished that line. We come to line 3. The minimum time here is 17. So we're going to subtract all numbers. 17 from all numbers. 33 minus 17, we are going to get 16. 22 minus 17, we are going to get 5. 21 minus 17, we are going to get 4, then this 0. Then we come to D. D here, the minimum cost here is 12. So we are going to subtract 12 from all numbers. So 21 minus 12, we are going to get 9. 29 minus 12, we are going to get 17. 27 minus 12, we are going to get 15. And 12 minus 12, we are going to get 0. 
That's the first step. Now, after doing the first step, you have to look at do you have zero in all rows in an all columns? Now, if we come to row one, we have zero, which is here. This one, we have zero. This one, we have zero. This one, we have zero. So we don't have a problem with that. Let's look at the columns. We have also do whether the, we have zero in all the columns. Column one, we have zero. That's correct. Column two, we don't have zero. Column three, we have zero. Column four, we don't have zero. Now, what we are going to do is that we are now going to uh, check at the columns which does not have zero. So we are going to look at columns. In that case, uh, let's look at column. Well, let's just do it here. Column. So we are going to have this. So we have A, B, C, and D. Then we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, we say that column 1, we have 0. So in that case, we don't have a problem with it. So we're going to write, just write those numbers. 9, 16, and 9. Column 2, we don't have 0. So in that case, we are going to look to uh, look at the minimum number. The minimum number here is 5. Then we are going to subtract 5 from all the numbers. 18 minus 5, you get 13. 23 minus 5, you get 18. 5 minus 5, you get 0. 19, 17 minus uh, 5, you get 12. This one, we say that we have 0, so we don't have a problem with it. So we're just going to write it 10, 0, 4, 15. This one also we have 0, so we don't have a problem with it. 3, 21, 8, 0. Now, after doing that, now we, are, we, we want to find out the minimum total running time. Minimum total running time. We start with A. A, we are going to have uh, the minimum time is the time where the number is zero. So we are going to look at the columns where the numbers are zero. So like in this case, A, the, uh, the first number is zero. So we are going to look at the original number was how much? The original number was 10. So it is 1, which is 10. If you come to B, B, 0 is at this point. The uh, minimum number was 7. If you come to C, we have 0 here and we have 0 here. So here 0 was 22 and here 0 was 17. So we have 22 and 17. We choose the minimum, the smallest. So it's 17. Then D, we have it here, which is 12. Then you add, you add 10 plus 7 plus 17 plus 12, you get it as 46. So 46 is the minimum minutes that can be uh, taken to run in those four jobs. That one is minimum. Let's look at maximization. This one was minimization. Let's look at maximization. Maximization. Now the question is going to be find out allocation of time to the four machines which maximize. Let's look now that this one become ma maximize. Maximize. So maximization. Now you start with the row, with the row as we started last time. Then you draw, you draw it. We have A, B, C, and D. One, two, three, four. 
Now maximization, you take the largest number. In minimization, we took the, the smallest number. In maximization, you take the uh, largest number. So the largest number in row 1, 10, 28, 20, 13 is 28. Now, we are going to subtract all these numbers from 28. Now, let's take this one. 28 minus 10 is 18. Then 28 minus 28 is 0. 28 minus 20 is 8. Then we have 28 minus 13 is 15. We come here. The largest number there is 30. 30 minus 16, you get 14. 30 minus 30 is 0. 30 minus 7 is 23. 30 minus 28 is 2. You come with this one. The largest number is 33. 33 minus, minus 33 is 0. 33 minus 22 is 11. 33 minus 21 is 12. 33 minus 17 is 16. You come to the D. The largest number is 29. 29 minus 9 is 21. is 8. Then this one is 0. This one is 2. 29 minus 12, you get 17. Now, you look at the rows. Where we are. If you have 0 in every row. Row 1, we have 0 here. Row 2, we have 0 here. Row 3, we have 0 here. Row 4, we have 0 here. What about the columns? Here, we have 0, which is correct. Here, we have 0. Here, we don't have 0. Here, we don't have 0. Now, step 2. This is step 1. Step 1. Step 2, we look at the columns. And the columns, we are going to look at the columns without 0. So we have A, we have B, we have C, and we have D. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this one, we don't have a problem with it because it has 0. So we are going to just write numbers the way they are. So we have 18, we have 14, we have 0, we have 8. This one also we don't have a problem with it because it has zeros. So we have 0, 0, 11, 0. Here we have a problem with it because we don't have 0. Now, the first step we use maximization, but the second step now we look at the minimum number. The minimum number here is 2. So we are going to subtract 2 from all the numbers. 8 minus 2 is 6. 23 minus 2 is 21. Uh, 12 minus 2 is 10. 2 minus 2 is 0. Then the, uh, the minimum number here is also 2. 15 minus 2 is 13. 0. 14. And 15. After that, you look at the ma maximum time so for a look at where we have zero at a we have zero at this place and look at the original number which was 28 for b it is here and here so it is this one and this one which one is maximum is that so b is 30 for c it is this one the first one which is 33 and for this one, it's this one and this one. So this one and this one, which one is maximum? 29. So D is 29. Now you get maximum time. 28 plus 30 plus 33 plus 29. Which becomes 120. Now that's how you should calculate your assignment. So assignment is part of transport. So next time... I'll give you questions concerning uh, this topic of transport and assignment, then we'll proceed with a new topic. Thank you.